Hello, uh, Professor Prasad Nadesilva. Uh, welcome to Sequana. Pleasure. Thank you very much for uh, dedicating your valuable time for us. So, um, you're one of the pioneers of um, molecular computing. So, um, I've, I, I've heard a bit more about your background, and you're an organic chemist, and um, you've done a lot more research based on molecular computing. So, could you tell a bit more about yourself? Yes, I'm Sri Lankan by birth, and my bachelor degree training was done in the University of Colombo, uh, which is where most of the ideas on molecular computation were formed. But the actual work itself was performed in Belfast at the Queen's University in Northern Ireland, uh, where I was able to continue the work that I started off in the University of Colombo. So even though my background is uh, as an organic chemist, or even chemistry in general, uh, I had the pleasure of working alongside physicists and computer scientists who gave up their time to me in the early years at the University of Colombo and then later at Queen's University of Belfast so that I could then transfer ideas from organic chemistry across into a little bit into electronics and then right across into computation. Yeah, that seems like a bit of a jump though, you know, um, having to learn um, organic chemistry and then, you know, starting on electronics and then moving on to molecular computing. And then also not to mention you are an expert on nanotechnology as well. I mean, you're consulting all over the world, aren't you? Uh, I do some, but as you know, nanotechnology was a late development as a subject. And so some of us who were involved in molecular-based information processing were naturally placed to join in the nanotechnology revolution. Of course, some of the media and the materials that were used in nanotechnology like carbon nanotubes or C60 or graphene would not have been materials that I myself would not have worked with before. Mm. But the methods and techniques and concepts and philosophies especially that we use for small organic molecules transferred across to these very fashionable carbon structures yep. and also to biomaterials and biomolecules like DNA. 